the Montgomery Riverfront Battle, the Alabama Boat Brawl. I don't know how, who stitched all these angles together. I'm not sure, but the coverage was amazing. Now, this isn't a violence thing, you know, I don't even think. It's not even really like a white versus black thing. I think the reason why it's so special is it's a fair versus unfair thing. And the added toppings of black people sticking together is always gonna, it's always gonna make the timeline. I think a big part of this is that we're, we're not really used to seeing justice handled so quickly and so fairly, you know? And it, and it escalated very, very quickly. Now, the, there's some highlights. Obviously, you guys have seen the video. Um, the, 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 there's a giant riverboat trying to park. This random family was like not moving their boat. And on top of not moving their boat, they're like, nah, let's also beat up the dude who's telling us to move it, you know? And it was a very, very sloppy jumping. It wasn't, it didn't look like any damage was really dealt. Um, but then when backup came and the river boat parked and all the black people came off like, all right, let's fight. All of a sudden this family was ready to go. They was in the boat like, yeah, we should, we should move this, right? And it just went so bad for them. Now here's some highlights. First of all, the security guard threw his hat up in the air while he was getting jumped, and I still don't, I still don't understand. People are saying that's how he was summoning his black friends, um, but I still don't, I still haven't logically found an answer. It's like he almost like, you know how like somebody's trying to figure out a video game and they're trying to figure out the moves and they're doing like wrong stuff? It looked like he like auto-locked on a bird on accident or something. Still don't know. Number two, somebody, a kid swam from the boat to the docks and then started fighting. You know how much strength that took? I would, my stamina bar would have been depleted once I got to the docks. And then I would just be standing there like, man, this is wrong. <laughs> Shout out to that kid, because that's, he literally swam to a fight like Jason Momoa. Number three, I think enough time has passed. I think we can finally admit that that, that old lady did not deserve that stone cold Steve Austin chair shot to the face. It was insanely unnecessary. She'll be all right. I just, I just, you know, I hope she's good, but I also hope that that dude don't get a lot of time because that was very much on camera. So make sure y'all donate. Um, and then I guess lastly was the fact that the internet ran with this and pretty much made it like a remake of the Avengers Endgame. When the, the portals opened and Captain America got all that help, that's, that's what it felt like. And me personally, I'm just waiting for the merch to drop. I should, I should... I think I should wear this moment proudly because it's at the end of the day it was a, it was a, it was great it was great TV. <laughs> I hope that family learned a lesson uh, to just move their boat or not be douchebags, and I hope that everybody involved uh, doesn't get much time if if not hopefully any time uh, because this was this was historical. I, and, and then finally, that, that lady got beat up and thrown into the ocean. That was crazy. During the fight, I wonder how many times that family was like, yeah, we should have we moved the boat. Definitely after the chair shot, definitely after being thrown into the ocean, I'm sure that thought popped up. Like, we, we should have moved. We should have moved.